Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you guys so much for tuning back into Town Online Dark Elixir Time. And that's what it's all about, guys. Grabbing that Dark Elixir, trying new strategies, and of course, trying to max out Apollyon, which um, is maxed. But the heroes aren't maxed. Everything else is done. Walls, defenses, everything. We don't even need gold. We don't even need elixir. All we need is dark elixir. And yes, guys, today the focus will be upgrading this king. It's only 95,000 dark elixir. And we're sitting on 93,900. We literally only need 1,100 to upgrade this guy. We're close. And ironically, I've got a very expensive dark elixir army. I've got the Queen Walk Hog Attack. And the uh, Queen Walk Hogs, as you can see, cost 1,400. 90 dark elixir so as long as we find some bases with a ton of dark elixir will be fine but this isn't like the most efficient strategy for farming dark elixir but to be honest with you and i will tell you this as i search for a perfect base is to be honest with you i've only really been farming this base using loot from war um just been warring here at the knights of zion and um having fun with it but it's slow going, you know, I haven't been doing a lot of farming boosts, just mainly just, just war. So, unfortunately, we went a lot at Knights of Zion, not every war, obviously, but we went on a fairly regular basis. And so, collecting Dark Elixir using the war loot is, um, it's a good way to do it, uh, but obviously, I would like to max these heroes quicker than that. So, let's do some war attacks, war attacks, um, in multiplayer, grab a bunch of Dark Elixir, and upgrade this king. And I've got a book of heroes, so... That's awesome. So I'll be right back once I find a massive Dark Elixir base. And using this epic strategy, we're, we're going to aim for that three star. Not, not only are we going to aim for the three star, but we're going to aim for just a, just a, just an overwhelming three star. All right, guys, perfect. Um, I sat and searched for about three, four minutes, and it was worth it because look at this base, guys. 4,800 Dark Elixir on a Town Hall 9, and it's actually a dead base. I was really hoping to find a fully alive base to really show the power of this strategy, but I'm not going to be stupid and pass up 4,800 Dark Elixir. That's just not going to happen. So let's wreck it together. And um, uh, number one priority, obviously, is the sweepers. You want to avoid the sweepers. You want to kill the queen, and you might want to pull a clan castle. Now, this is a dead base so the idea is that there's no clan castle i'm going to depend on that all right so let's um let's start on this side all right what this will do is this will allow me to break into this compartment here avoid the sweeper and get the queen all at the same time actually wait i don't need to break in i just realized because that air defense normally you want to break into a compartment to get that air defense um i'm not going to need to do that because the queen can actually hit that air defense from behind the wall because it is um it is close enough to the wall and in fact it's right up against the edge of the wall there so it's going to work out now the problem is the queen if she decides to go to the right then we're going to be in big trouble and i think that's what's going to happen so let's go ahead and drop the wall breakers into here just because we need to kill that enemy queen Queen. otherwise this whole thing it's not gonna work so uh queen are you gonna be okay now have you figured out your role also look at this guys there's no air targeting defenses so let's get that baby dragon in there enemy queen's gonna go down to that queen walk very very nice job betty very very nice all right and now the idea oh wow tesla's good thing the expos have no ammunition otherwise this would be a deadly spot but we're okay kill those teslas queen will likely start heading left and that's good that's actually fine um actually wait 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 this air defense might be a problem right here i don't know let's let's see what happens okay let's just watch um because honestly the i would like to keep the queen alive in this attack if i can so queen are, what are you gonna do next are you gonna go left you're gonna take out this stuff out here or are you gonna try to break in through the wall honestly breaking in through the wall would be better uh, yep, she's gonna break into the wall. Perfect. Okay, so what we'll do here is I'm gonna get a king. He's gonna distract some defenses. Let's get some clan castle hogs. Let's get the rest of the hogs. Very, very nice. And put the wizards in behind. Let's break these babies in. Let's drop a poison spell on the king. And now we need a poison, or uh, we need some healing spells. Now let's drop a heal out here. And let's drop a heal out here. Very, very nice. Let's drop another poison on the king. Very, very good, guys. So now what you see here is these hogs are working together very, very nicely. I'm going to drop a heal out here for this group of hogs. And I think it's going to be GG. I don't think that we're going to need this ray spell. So I'm going to go and drop that on the queen just to help her get through some stuff. And I've also got some archers. So we'll go ahead and put the archers out here to help out this king. Pop the king's ability, by the way. I don't want him to take any more damage. 
Very good. Okay, so yeah, that easy, guys. That is going to be the three star. And um, because the walk took forever, we actually made it into the last 30 seconds. But with a base that allows you to just quickly throw down the queen, kill the CC, kill the queen, and, and then drop everything else quickly, um, this can be a two minute three star very easily. But yeah, we used everything. Um, and we got everything. It was so worth it. Look at that. It was beautiful. Over 5,000 Dark Elixir. Oh, I love the strategy. Okay, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to regroup, get my army, get my clan castle, get my heroes back to awake if they took damage. And we're going to go do it again. And and even, I know this is this is reaching, but we're going to try to top that amount of Dark Elixir. Let's see if we can find more than 4,844 Dark Elixir. I'll be right back once I find the base. 4,200 Dark Elixir. Not quite that 4,800 that I was hoping for. But it's a Tunnel 10, and it's like a full-fledged Tunnel 10 with Infernos and stuff. So I figured, hey, this one will be really interesting. And um, I'm not going to be able to three-star this base, but I'm going to try to do something awesome. So what we'll do is we're going to actually take out the enemy queen with our queen walk. And I'm also going to attempt to kind of coerce the queen to go down. Because if I get the queen to go down, then she'll get that storage as well. So let's try our best, guys to uh, convince the queen that she needs to go down, not up. All right, so let's get this raid spell ready because as soon as the enemy queen gets upset with us, uh, it's gonna be a, actually, yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, queen, come on, queen, come on, queen. Yes, oh my goodness. Okay, so spell factory is gonna go down now, please. Yes, okay, the, 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 the cookie trail kind of heads this direction, perfect. All right, so now what we need is one, two, three, right there. That's going to force the queen in. And now she will have access to that Dark Elixir storage. Unfortunately, I have no rage spells left. I've, I've already used my rage spells. So we'll have to use our king, and that will keep the queen alive. We'll also have to sneak in a few hogs just to kind of, um, you know, destroy stuff, of course. And then let's pop the king's ability. Wow, she, he is struggling right now. That is gnarly. Okay, arch style goes down, cannon goes down. This is good, guys. This is great. So the king kept some stuff busy. The hogs weakened a bunch of defenses. And now I think we'll be able to grab this. Unfortunately, though, the arch tower didn't go down. All the point defenses are down next except for the arch tower and the expo. So that was that was good. I think this will work. Let's pop the queen's ability early. We're going to take out that expo. And now it is smooth sailing. The queen will grab and take out that dark elixir storage. Now what we need to focus on is getting the Dark Elixir out of that Town Hall and also out of those drills. And I think we have a drill down here that's pretty much empty. And we got a drill up here who is uh, a lot more full than the other one. So let's actually use a Baby Dragon on that drill up there. That should... Yeah, we're going to definitely get all that. Awesome. Okay, now we need to figure out which way the Queen's going to go. Because we're going to... Oh, she's going to break into the wall, guys. This is perfect. Okay, uh, I guess Clan Castle down there. More hogs down here. And let's drop a rage spell there. Let's drop a heal spell there. No, I'm sorry. That was a poison, not a rage. Oh, my goodness. All right. And then wizard tower is behind. Um, yes, guys. Yes. This is working out perfectly. This is working out much better than I ever expected it to go. Queen's going to grab this town hall. That's going to be all the dark elixir remaining. Um, and we got one more heal spell, too. So where should we use this final heal spell? Wherever the hogs go. Let's go. Let's drop the heal right there. Yeah, there's a lot of firepower on these hogs, guys. This is brutal. This is brutal. But you know what? It looks like it's going to work out. Let's just uh, drop all these things down. It's definitely going to be a solid two-star. We're going to get all the Dark Elixir down. And now the rest is for posterity. The rest is for bragging rights. We did pretty dang well, I think. Um, that Queen Walk really did perfectly. Exactly what we wanted her to do. I used everything but that clan castle um, poison spell, and that was amazing, guys. So even though, again, we didn't break the record of our first attack, uh, we still did pretty dang good with 4,500 combined Dark Elixir. Now, I've got time for one more attack. Um, King might not be around. I'm not sure. I'll wait. We'll get all of our stuff figured out, and we'll go out and do one more raid, and hopefully beat that 4,800 from that first raid. I doubt it though, but hey, it's cool to dream. It's good for you, for me, to dream. Whoa, guys, a dead town of 10 with 4,100 Dark Elixir. I mean, any attack with over 3,000 is amazing, but all three of these win 4,000, so if anything, that deserves a like on this video. Be sure and like the video now.
Let's talk about this attack. I've got my queen walk. I've got no king. I actually ended up gemming the army. Cost me about 20 gems. It was worth it. So let's actually figure out this whole thing. I think most of the Dark Elixir, actually probably all of the Dark Elixir is sitting in the drills. Um, so what we'll do with this one is we're going to make sure we grab at least one of these drills with our queen. And notice, I'm going to take out the sweeper before putting down my healers. Okay, that was really, um, that was a fun little, you know, side show there to be able to put down the healers later. I've always thought that looked so pro, even though all it is is a little bit of patience. So, again, 10, 10, 10, not a big deal, but what I'm hoping is that the queen will actually go left. Could you go left, queen? Very nice. Alright, baby dragon. We'll put the baby dragon out here. I'm gonna try to force the queen left so that she grabs all those drills, and then we can funnel the queen um, inside the core to grab that town hall. Now, unfortunately, the queen looking like she wants to go to the right against all of my expectations. Queen, could you please? Okay, this Tesla is gonna be the problem. Yeah, if this Tesla doesn't go- Oh, the queen is genius! Yes! <laughs> yes, guys, I love this queen. I hate her when she doesn't do what I say, but when she does what I say, she's amazing. All right, so now what we'll do is we're gonna put our clan castle hogs. We're gonna put the rest of our hogs, and this will also work very nicely as a funnel. Let's drop a few wall breakers, put our archers down. And then let's also drop a heal out here. I'm going to drop a rage out here for the king as well. And um, basically going to just make sure we keep heals down where there's splash damage as always. Um, the queen can handle all the defenses in the core. So let's drop the heal out here. Very, very nice. And I've got one more poison spell. I think I'm going to hold that poison spell just in case. Because look at that. The king actually turns. That is amazing. King got off of our our hogs. Very nice. Let's drop that heal. The heal is going to actually dual purpose for that queen as well. I think we're going to three star this baby. And also, um, oh, we're, yeah, we're definitely going to three star this base. <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. That defense goes down now. The, oh, the hogs. Oh, this cannon. Really? Really, cannon? Really? Do you have to be a problem? Do you always have to be a problem with me? Oh my gosh. Okay, well the queen got all the dark, or is getting all that dark elixir. That's really all that matters. Um, everything else is extra, and these hogs are going to clear up everything very, very nicely. In fact, I might use this rage spell on these hogs just to troll this queen. Yeah, we're going to drop a rage spell on these hogs just to troll the queen. Watch this, watch this. Rage togs, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Queen goes down. Queen is now going to work through these walls, and everybody's going to collide in the core for the three star that was awesome guys yes i know it's a dead 10 on 10 but it was still a 10 on 10 and we just three starred it that was amazing um wait wait no what what oh okay <laughs> i was about to say no but yeah we got it we got this guys we got this that was amazing and we three star with that our king which is just perfect so there we go guys with the loot bonus of a 4400 dark elixir and all together these three attacks ended up getting us what 4 at 12, like 12, 13,000 Dark Elixir in three attacks. I mean, imagine if I was boosted pulling off attacks every five minutes. That would be what? Four times 12, almost. That would be over 50,000 Dark Elixir in one hour, guys. One hour. That's insanity. All right, anyway. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's upgrade the king, guys. The king is level 23. Going to level 24, 95,000 Dark Elixir, a seven-day upgrade. But no, I've got my book of heroes. Let's do this in three, two, one, bam. Very nice. And now the book of heroes going down. And now we've got a level 24 king. That is amazing, guys. And now we've only got, let me see, five, five, 11. We've got 11 hero upgrades left before Apollyon is finally maxed. And at this rate, it's going to take a while. But hey, I'm enjoying the heck out of the journey. I hope you guys are too. And be looking forward to next time when we start trying to accumulate Dark Elixir once again to either upgrade this queen level uh, 26, which is 119,000 Dark Elixir, or the king to 25 at 100,000 Dark Elixir. Likely the king will go down to 25 first, but we will just have to see. But for now, guys, that is it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video, as I've said already, if you did, in fact, like it. And hit that subscribe button. Join the Klaus family if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.